Hey, I'm Corwin, and today I'm gonna take the first steps in an attempt to clean up this huge mess. All right, so you go to a car show, what's the first thing everybody does? Pop the hood. This hood is not worth popping <laughs> at the moment, uh, so I'm gonna attempt to kind of clean it up. I'm sure you all have noticed already, but there's AC relays back there. I put the fuel pump relay there. There's stuff coming off the battery. Temperature sensors, horn relays, all the stuff for the washer bottle. It's just a huge mess. This bit right here is where the body harness comes through the firewall and connects to everything. And you can see pieces of it have been snipped, uh, patched. I don't know what's going on there, so. Another thing is that I had to bring a keyed source all the way over here for the carburetor choke, the fuel pump, all sorts of stuff. And up here under the dash, I had an issue where a couple of these wires came loose and that meant that the tack and the voltometer quit working. That was very frustrating. So my hope is that I can bring, using this guy, which you guys know I love so much, I can bring one big fat wire off the key and using all this stuff, a fuse box and a bunch of relays, I can put something together under the hood to clean up this whole mess and just run one wire through the firewall, he says, and really make it look pretty. There are about a million and one different videos on YouTube about how to set up this kind of thing. Uh, so I will link a couple down in the description. So, uh, but I'm not gonna spend time kind of walking through that because they do a, a way better job than me in the first place. And I, it's kind of hot out here and I wanna run the fan, so. Sorry. <laughs> So admittedly, it's been a couple of days, uh, you know, life happens. But let me show you kind of where this ended up because I think it looks really good. So um, there's two cavities kind of in the front of the Cadillac. There's one here and then there's one on the other side where the battery is. Um, there were a couple of relays in this spot already, one for the horn and one for the transmission stator. So um, I'm gonna put those back in, but just in a slightly different spot. So. Um, this is all mounted up. I've got it on standoffs so that I can run wires behind or loop them through and then this hole right here actually lines up with the original hole that was already in the body um, to run the wires for those other relays through. So let me show you kind of how this works. Okay, so I ran this big fat wire here up off the key. So this supplies 12 volts to this fuse block as soon as I turn the key to the on position. This is, fuse block is actually probably too big. Um, there's only really room here for four relays, but I've got 10 slots for fuses. I'm gonna use some of them on this side for other stuff. Like I'll probably one, run one over to the electric choke and stuff like that. Stuff that doesn't require a relay. This side, all these supply power to these relays. And then they're all grounded over here. Blue is the power out and then white is the switch. So what you can do, I mean, relays are, are awesome. And if you're not familiar with them, they can be extremely useful. These are just regular four wire switches. There's some that have five wires that where the middle is a constant, but this just makes it super easy to organize all your wires right here. Um, and then I can just run them all back out this hole. So what I'm doing now, uh, you can see, as I pointed out earlier, there's just stuff all over the place. So what I've been doing is going through and labeling some of these up and seeing what I need, what I don't need, what can be rerouted, what needs to be lengthened, what needs to be cut, all that sort of stuff. So I'm kind of just going through it um, and seeing you know, how I can clean it up.
Okay, I've actually made a lot of really good progress. You can see I've got these first two relays hooked up uh, to the fuse block and over here to the relays themselves on the distribution block. And then you can see um, this looks like a mess, but once all this stuff gets bundled up, um, there really won't be, it won't look this bad. But I wanna make sure everything's hooked up and good before I hide it all away. So this bottom one here is for the fans. So the reason why there's two wires is I've got it hooked up two different ways, one manual and one automatic. So this wire, small one, runs over here to this temperature switch. And so this activates at 160 degrees, it'll turn the fan on. The other one runs inside the car to this switch and if I hit it, so really just a fail safe and I didn't have the right fuses so please, I know this is wrong, they're in the mail, but I just had to make sure this stuff worked. So don't jam the wrong size fuses, fucking mosquitoes, in a bigger hole. But as soon as you hit this switch, the power runs all the way over here to the white wire on this relay, and that activates the breaker in the middle of it and sends power out through that red wire down to the fan. And then same thing, this other one, this is the fuel pump. Same thing here, I've got that button on the inside, uh, can turn it on to charge the bowl, and then the other wire runs back to, you can just barely see it down there, it's an oil pressure uh, switch, so as soon as it sees five pounds, it'll cut the fuel pump on all the time, and then, again, it sends power to the relay, relay runs off, sends power to the fuel pump, so. So making really good progress, but I've got a whole list of stuff, actually, fuel pump off the list, so I still gotta get all this other stuff, antenna, choke, the trunk release. The blower fan was on a relay, but it also has, I gotta wire in the resistor to it too, so that's gonna get a little complicated, but not too bad, I took a bunch of pictures. The tack and then the gauge for the battery on the inside. Good God, there's about a hundred mosquitoes out. Jeez. Just smashing these dudes. What did they eat? And they can't get Hobbit. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's kind of slow going. I want to make sure I get it right, but it's going to look really good when I'm done. Okay, I think I gotta call it a night. I've just about got everything wired in um, that I want to. The only thing I haven't done is the blower motor uh, because it requires me to add that resistor and I'm not quite sure where I wanna put it, but everything else is pretty much good to go. Yeah, fan switch and then I wanna rig up voltimeter. Once everything, I'll check, make sure everything's working before I really start tucking it away, um, but it's, already like it's gonna clean it up so much so I'm really looking forward to doing that and rest in peace after all these years of using this shitty old soldering iron I just ran over it in my wife's car pulling it back in the garage pour one out so back at it again I think I just got the blower motor completely wired up so let me show you that and then I'll start tucking this stuff away. I've got uh, red is power, orange is low, yellow is medium, green is high. So the only, well it works. The low is just pretty low. Okay, so over here, yellow and orange, which are resisted, go off over there. And then green, which is high, comes over here and activates this relay, which then sends the full 12 volts back out this big wire over to the blower motor. Yeah, so you can see down here, orange comes in to the lower one, yellow up here to the high one. The red wire from the relay comes over in here, which this is also the output from the resistor. So um, if it goes through low or medium, it goes through here through the resistor. The air from the blower blows on that resistor and keeps it cool. If it's on high, it bypasses the resistor via this connection here and gets a full 12 volt. The only other thing I really wasn't sure about was this kickdown switch. You can see it's kind of 
I mean, it works. This plate, when it swings over, hits the switch um, when it's at full throttle and kicks down the transmission. This seems to work fine. I was unable to trace one of these wires. It goes from over here back up into this mess. And then once it goes under the dash, I just can't find it. But clearly it's on a keyed switch because this has 12 volts when the key's on. So I may replace this switch cause it's a little weird looking, but it seems to be working. So I'll just kind of tuck them up and, and get them out of the way until I find a better solution. I think I'm done. I tested just about everything and I can't find anything that doesn't work. Although I guess when I do find something that doesn't work, it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass, but uh, that's okay. Let me show you. Okay, so all that wire that was over here before is now loomed in this piece. It runs back up there around into the firewall and it all comes out right here. I'm thinking I'm gonna get a piece of plexi or something just to stand off. Because uh, this does have a small hole in it for airflow, which I think is nice, uh, but anything wet may cause some problems. But I don't really drive around in the rain. And then over here, you can see all this stuff is gone. Now the biggest mess is just all of this air conditioning stuff, which I have currently disconnected. As you can see, that runs back to that relay right there, which is also a temperature sensor. I am mostly happy with this. I did the best that I could. It was just never really made to be wrapped up like this, but I think for the most part, it's honestly, it's okay. And then in here, yeah, looks good. The, really, the only wires are the ones for the transmission because they're not under the carpet, but everything else is good and this um, is all the shit that I took out replaced lengthened uh, uh, generally is no longer damn it on the car pretty happy with that I feel really good about all that work I really trust all of this electronic stuff up here at the front because before it was just like oh here's a wire that's off the key and let's connect it there and this is like dead on, fused, relayed, just, I don't know. It's just so much better and I feel so much safer about it. So if it wasn't for all the mosquitoes, this may have been a little bit better. It's just a lot of work, like hunting down wires. It's hot out here. My back is killing me from being leaned over the car. There, I am unhappy with a couple of things like the temperature sensor wire that comes straight across right here by the power steering pump. I should have run that back and then come back up uh, just to hide it in the other loom. It doesn't ruin anything. No one else is even gonna notice. So now, next time you see me at a car show, I'll probably open the hood, maybe. I don't know, it's not really like, it's not really that kind of car. Till next time. <laughs>